good afternoon. A little bit grey still. Um, welcome to New Year, New You. This is the uh, Twitter stroke internet 31 days of January challenge where you generate 31 new characters that you'd like to play either in the new year or just that list of uh, things. Obviously, me being me, I'm doing 31 characters in 31 different systems um, because that's how I roll. I've got all these systems, might as well use them like that. And today we are looking at, uh, this is one that got added partway through the list. This is um, Briar Terriel, who is a Stormcast Eternal Knight Azeroth for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar uh, Soulbound RPG from um, <sighs> Cubicle 7 Entertainment. Done the dice and bolts of it, quick nutshell. If, if you're looking at the outside at what the difference is between old school, old hammer, old school Warhammer, you know, the, the old world and Age of Sigmar and what the new game entails, Soulbound is actually a really easy way into things. Um, it is a wonderful system, nice, simple and straightforward. You can see its roots in the war game side of Warhammer. Um, and it's quite it, it takes it takes you from a grim and perilous to a high fantasy game which gives gives me a happy in here so briar terriel uh knight azeroth these are the ones i don't have a picture didn't put one on there but they are uh stormcast eternal so effectively you are a mortal human who has been or he or he is a mortal human who uh was chosen by Sigmar, um, the Lord of the Humans, effectively the God of the Humans, was reforged and kind of cast into a suit of golden plate armor. Um, and so effectively is a ghost piloting a Terminator or ghost piloting, yeah, a Warhammer Terminator, not a T-1000, but a Warhammer Terminator. So that's sort of thing. Um, there are various different uh, ones so the the pre the pre-generated one for the uh, quick start adventure is a uh, knight quester which is like sword and shield guy the knights azeros are the uh, message bearers and diplomats so um, briar is has has the golden armor not the heavy war plate but still quite tough armor has a star blade which is just like a, a regular sword just with a bit of flavor text it's got a lightning bolt pattern down the side of it and carries a lantern and where knights uh, quester tend to be you know fairly straightforward melee um you get access to i think your key skill is devotion rather than weapon skill um a diplomat so kind of called in for his um ability to speak to people and his determination and his grit to actually get the job done and to not leave the negotiating table until uh, an agreement is reached, um, but not averse to calling down lightning and smiting people as well. And then there is a, a second page to it. The lovely thing about the Knights Azeroth is they get wings. So as well as having nice golden plate armor, um you get a pair of radiant wings if you get a chance to check out the miniature for age of sigma for a knight azeroth it's a beautiful piece of kit a beautiful piece of kit um nice thing about the game you've got the goals so you uh, each character has a short-term goal and a long-term goal and as a party uh, the soulbound have a party goal as well and you gain a couple of xp for achieving a short term and more xp for achieving a long-term goal um Briar Terriel has been given a proclamation to deliver to, I, I'm guessing, somebody in Brightspear, which is one of the, the cities in a campaign setting, and um, to defeat the long term goal, defeat the Lord of Change that caused my first reforging. So, the reforging stat that you have, or it's not a stat, but it's just an indicator of the number of times, because Soulbound, or sorry, Stormcast Eternals can't die. I oh, can't die. Um, when their forms are destroyed their souls are taken back to sigmar because part of their soul is bonded to his so their souls come back and then they get put into a new body it takes about a week or two but you restart and you respawn um so it's been reforged three times but the the 
the fluff and the lore is that the more times they are reforged, uh, the less human they are. So they tend to lose empathy. And that kind of goal I thought there was, um, you know, to defeat the Lord of, Lord of Change is a greater demon of Sinch. Looks like an AD and D type one demon, that sort of thing. Um, that, yeah, that caused his first reforging. Yeah. Um, Briar Teriel, the uh, Knight Azeroth Stormcast Eternal from Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar Soulbound. Um, roll well, and I'll see you soon.